Hello, Cancers, and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lori Ann, here to give you the messages for the next week. Cancer babies, we are looking at a really positive message that's coming through for the majority of you, whoever you are, whatever group you're in. Rip, roar, and good times is what I'm hearing for you. That's the very first message that's coming through. So, Cancer, we are looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign for Cancer. This is a general reading. Whatever comes through this reading, we're going to relate to you through the cards. I will show you uh, whatever I'm hearing, seeing, feeling, and know. So, Cancer, that's a beautiful way to start this reading off a rip, roaring good time. It almost feels like the roaring 20s. It's like just having this major time. Maybe some of you are getting ready to finally get back into the groove of life again, wherever it is that you live. But we do have the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is, is a lot of guilt, regret. It's, it's crying over something that you may have felt should have come back around to you. So if this is about romance, you may have been dealing in your life when trying to heal with a past relationship. That caused you a lot of pain, the painful emotions, right, with the cups. But right next to it, whatever it was, a job loss, whatever it was, we've got the Ten of Cups. And this is what you want. The Ten of Cups, this is about abundance getting ready to come into you. This is about celebrating with family, with friends, people that you feel are your group of people that you connect with in life. So whatever pain and suffering you were dealing with cancer, you're getting over it. You're getting ready to make a big change. Now, Mercury is in retrograde. I'm recording this on June 14th, but this video is meant for whenever you view it, okay? That's when you are being guided to look at something coming through your feed. Check it out because you'll be surprised at what happens when you listen to these readings not based on the week. We have the, the Seven of Swords, and the Seven of Swords is the deception. So whoever hurt you, there was a lot of deception. There was a lot of pain. And in order to move past that so we can have our Ten of Cups back again, okay, we create our Ten of Cups. This is you saying, you know what, this worked, this didn't work. Out of the seven things, you're going to pull the ones that are lessons for you. I won't do this. I will do this. The rest, and you're going to let it go beautiful energy that's what i mean you are literally going to let go of whatever you've been dealing with cancer for some of you i'm seeing it's been four dash five years you've been going through this for quite some time right now we do have the king of pentacles and the king of pentacles can be a virgo taurus or a capricorn to you it can also indicate that it's in your chart but this is a person or an opportunity that holds a lot of value to you. So if this is a, a parent-child dynamic, there's the authority that we're talking about, the work and the authority that comes from work. This is a government type of an entity, a very large CEO, huge corporation, where you may have had to learn your lesson. You may have had to neglect family while you were working with this corporation and you say, you know, I like the money. It makes me feel like the King of Pentacles, but I do not want to be away from my family anymore. You see, it's a big change of what is coming in and it's a good change. It's a very, very positive change for those of you who are looking at uh, making a decision, they're, they're showing me a line, you're, you're creating a line of what you will do when it comes to your career, what you will do when it comes to your birth family, you're going to put your immediate family first, and if you are the only one in your immediate family, that means you, okay, and you should always be putting you first anyway. So let's take a look at whoever you're dealing with, okay? Because with this King of Pentacles, again, is that sense of tremendous amount of authority, responsibility that can be associated with it. Now we have the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords is healing after the Three of Swords. So there was that heartbreak that I was talking about. There was a form of pain attached to this person, to this job, to this experience. And this is saying once we are able to pull those swords out, and it is a lot of work, once we're able to do this right here, pull the lessons, that's when we start 
letting the rest go through meditation, through sleep, through vacation, through re-energizing our body by nutrition of the mind, feeding the mind filled with good nutrient information, not crap that we see all over the place. So you're really going to come out of this very, very nice. And there you go. The sun card, it can't get much better than this. You're getting ready to release your inner child. Now, Cancer, some of you, this is actually saying by your birthday, because again, this is June 14th, so your birthday's right around the corner. So by your birthday, you're going to be feeling oh so much better re-energized rejuvenated you may be having sessions with me where we're going to clear out your energy and allow you to feel good again this is feeling the best you probably again four dash five years so this was a lot of work for you to go through and life is a lot of work when we're dealing with people that injure us and they don't even necessarily mean to but it happens so with this Ten of Cups, it's the second Ten of Cups, so you might be seeing ten, ten. Tens may be very important. All of us should be seeing ones right now. Every single one of us are seeing one, 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 because right now is an open cycle. We're clearing out the old karma, and we're starting a new cycle, all right? So it depends on where you fit into this cycle right now. But for a lot of you, this is coming out of something amazing. Now, I'm going to pull a couple cards uh, separate for romance. This is like family. This is work. This is you. But I'm going to pull specifically for romance. I'm going to pull two for you and two for whoever you're dealing with. Each of my readings are going to be whatever I get guided to do during the reading. And yours is a little bit different. Um, and it's for a reason. <laughs> okay. And here's the reason. You have two two opportunities coming in one is a huge apology that i feel it could come from email but for a lot of you i feel this is going to be in person it may be by telephone somebody is going to apologize to you for whatever took place so if this was your business if this was the company you were working for whatever it was you've learned your lesson you may very well be vocalizing it to them cancer and well then because we need to speak it and right now i don't feel any throat chakra stuff coming through with these cards all right but in the past a lot of my cancer readings a lot of throat block throat chakras and that's what my platforms all of my platforms are about you speaking up voicing your opinion with respect and this card is saying absolute sincerity respect whoever is coming in this offer this opportunity is going to lead to something very secure so if it's a person giving you the apology then it comes with an actual offer attached to it but you're going to need to learn each other and grow with each other the same thing with a job or any type of project as long as you get up and take action, my beautiful cancers, all of this is going to happen. For some of you, you've got two, possibly three opportunities coming in between now and your birthday time. A lot of you, it'll be in the seven to 10 day period of time that you are viewing this video. Whatever it is, it is going to be absolutely exciting when it comes to romance. You have two people coming in. If this is your current partner, this is the two of you taking a baby step toward creating something exciting again, getting a little sensual and sexual in the bedroom again, lighting that fire inside the relationship. That is what's coming. Now, it is on a smaller scale, but that's okay because it may have been a while four to five years for some of you so this is baby steps of getting back in the motion and you're gonna love 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 it you're gonna feel really good <laughs> so we're gonna pull a romance angel card if you are new out in the dating field um it's gonna be the similar type of a message where you're meeting somebody that does come with a i want to get to know you and i feel for those of you if this is you you're single 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 you're going to meet this person online doesn't mean online dating but it could be a virtual meeting that you attend and they are in the meeting right so when i talk about virtual meeting somebody on virtual that does not mean dating okay although it could 
Now, you beautiful, beautiful, express your love. Whatever it is, it is time to express your love. So expressing our love is opening ourselves up to say, you know what? Okay, you don't look the way I thought you'd look. There's something missing, but let's have a good time right now. If they're icky, then obviously you're gonna leave. But it's really paying attention to you. You're going to own the show, so to speak. You're going to make the decision if you want to continue to go out with this person, accept this offer, or get to know whoever this is. Express your love is very important because we can say get away through our invisible energy field. So you have to make sure that you are expressing it if you're trying to open up your energy field at the same time and allow your energy to actually open. So this is beautiful. Some of you are getting ready to meet. That's what I said. It's like a rip roar in good time. Over the next week or two, definitely up and through your birthday, you're going to have this week of absolute fun and enlightenment and it's going to be really cool you guys are going to love it and i feel you guys so needed cancer you so needed this now you have maya the school and learning and uh really mastering your skill set when it comes to relationships if you're looking for a relationship that's different you need to understand all the different ways and perceptions of relationships and start doing your own research on that whatever it is we're looking at 11 11 right as i looked at the clock and that again is confirmation you guys are getting ready to start a new beginning so as we clear out mercury and retrograde is getting ready to turn back around i think it's right around the 18th and so it'll be that week after by the end of june you're gonna feel so much better and start having a rip roaring good time. So please thumbs up this video to help other cancers, whether it's your reading or not, it will help them. And check out your moon and rising sign. Have an amazing week, much love.